Saturday we are off to the renowned Pictures Festival of Film. Was it the seventh? Or renowned the Film Festival. Renowned Film Festival or Festival of Renowned Film or wherever in Stockport, which I think is still is it still in Cheshire or they moved? That's a long there? way up. I don't know because Bolton used to be in Lancashire and they now moved that into Manchester. So I don't know if Stockport's still in Cheshire or whether they've moved that into Greater Manchester or not. So we're off to there. We're going to see. Rita Tushingham's going to be there, isn't she? Yeah. And I've taken a copy of Some People, which has got Ray Brooks in it. So I'm going to see if he can sign that, because the last time we went to one of the film festivals, Robert Powell signed, uh, um, signed uh, a DVD. And who did we meet the year before? This Fraser. Is that the year before the year before that? I don't know. Brian Murphy. I had a good long chat with Brian Murphy. So we're about to set off. We need to get fuel. We were going to get train tickets, but we haven't got that much money. Um, fuel, and then it's Ford Escort Power all the way up to Stockport. Slowly. Slowly, in Cheshire, where the cheese comes from. And the cats, of course. Cheshire cats? Cheshire cats come from Cheshire, don't they? Well, they wouldn't be called a Cheshire cat, would it, if it wasn't from I Cheshire? I never thought about that. So, uh, that's where but we're off Of course off you don't to. see them, do you, because they hide? Oh, yeah, they're invisible, aren't they? So look. Bonnet is up, which indicates that there's something wrong. So how far have we got? Not even Birmingham. No, just, well, just into Worcester. What's the services called? Stratton Services. Stratton Services. And we've had, here we go, look, 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 look. I don't know if you can see, see if we can come around there. The fan belt's gone. Or going, just about to go. Didn't it break? No, no, it's still hanging on. That's what was it. all that noise then? There's part of it coming off. Okay. So we check. The water pump's going round, so it wasn't that. The alternator pulley goes round, so it was just the belt has worn out. Fortunately, I have another belt. Are you in confident the... it's in the boot? It's in the boot. Okay. So there's a spare fan belt in the boot. However, no tools. And I don't want to do it in this attire anyway. I only need a 30, one 30 mil spanner and one 30 mil socket on a short extension, which I haven't got. So we called AA out. RAC. RAC, is it? Yeah. All oh, right, so we called the RAC out and um i got the bonnet open he's going to be an hour and a half just let it cool down a bit so it's not going to be so hot for him to work on should only take him 10 minutes and we're going to have a cup of coffee out of a flask yeah, we've, there we are look it's at 2 30 we've just hit the uh, hit the road again so we're going to be we're going to be late three hours in the services three hours at the services we had to go in and um, get them to uh, do something on the computer because you're only allowed two hours otherwise it's 12 quid to stay in the in the car park and we weren't actually parked were we? No, oh argument. for a spanner. Eight, oh for, yeah, which I've got now, he's left me a spanner. There it is, he said he found it in the road so he's left me one we're just in case we've got to get another belt now but luckily I kept one. So onwards, we're about to be overtaken by National Express. Um, tea and coffee making facilities. Um, I'm surprised the kettle isn't coin operated. And fortunately, next to the bed are some tissues for the people that come here and sob and cry because they've come in and they've paid however much it is we paid and got this room. And later on, I might show you around it a bit more. It's quite unique. I've not stayed in anywhere like this before. These are actually called where in A wing, and over there is B wing. So I think maybe there might be some hardened criminals staying here at Her Majesty's uh, leisure as well. Oh. Right, good morning. It's Sunday morning, isn't it? Sunday morning. Right now, if you wake up in the morning in a hotel and a note's been pushed under the door that says, if you're reading this note, congratulations, you survived the night. We did think we were going to wake up with our throat slit, didn't we? Thought someone might come down through the patch that's been cut in the ceiling. Patch cut in the ceiling? You can just about to see that, can't you? Yeah, I think someone was going to drop down in a... Um, what was the film where he drops down? I know. Mission I... Impossible, isn't it? Yeah. To, to steal my, my pile of 20 peas for the coin-operated pillow. We've got to make sure you feed it in the night with enough 20 peas for it to work. The one pound coin for the um, 
coin operated fire extinguishers and the two pound coin for the coin operated fire escape. So we're going to go down for breakfast in a minute and um, be positive. Be positive. Right, you know when there's been um, a murder on a film or television program, they draw around the body where it was murder found the murdered body. We'll get some more facts and figures and we'll put them on the bottom of this bit, yeah? Yeah. Right. So how early are we? About an hour and a half. About an hour and a half. Uh, so, rotten day yesterday, not the best of nights in the hotel, but all that just melts away when you come into this beautiful building. There you go. <laughs> This just smells of beeswax and oak and rocket and the carpets are beautiful. It's wonderful in here. I recommend it. Well, I do recommend it. Come to the plaza in Stockport for anything. More pictures to follow. You know? It's a mission time. another night. I'm not surprised now because if you sleep in the filthy bed you might get something but if you sit in the chair you might actually sit on the keel for it. So that's good isn't it? So going home today hooray! and we will talk about talking pictures in the car going back I think. Right supplemental I feel like to mention this before we go if you look inside the kettle No lime scale. No lime scale, just that we get terrible lime scale at home. Uh, if you wanted to fill the kettle up, just leave it next to the wall and then the damper and the damper will fill the kettle up. So that's... Self-filling. Self-filling, isn't it? I'm being cruel, I'm sorry, I'm being cruel. It's, the, it's full of nice people, but it's just not... People are nice. People are nice. And the staff are nice. And the staff are nice. But, but we just wanted a bit more. Somehow this doesn't seem to come together. Let's go. The South West. South West Bur Bur we've done Birmingham. Anyway, we've just gone past Birmingham, heading south, M5, so we're on our way home. Gloucester is no, north of Gloucester is no longer the north now. Anything north of Birmingham is now the north. I think we've decided because we quite like Birmingham, don't we? We do. We do. So we've just stopped off at the Black Country Museum for some dandelion and burdock, sausage roll, a piece of lardy cake. Like generating a can you Yeah, remember? and then a cup of coffee, didn't we? We had. And now we're on our way back. So, we'll talk in pictures, the debrief. Um, Location was fabulous. Uh, well, no, the, the hotel was on the trip. The trip up, we broke a fan belt and had the AA out, which delayed us by three hours. Never mind. The hotel was grim. The plaza at Stockport is beautiful. And apparently they film bits of cheeky cheeky blinders there, don't they? Yeah, but we don't want cheeky blinders. But we don't want cheeky blinders. And they film some of the Black Country Museum that we've just left, just left as well. Um, the staff in the hotel were nice, although the hotel was grim. The 
staff at the plaza were wonderful, weren't they? Passionate. Lovely people. They, that was really nice. Um, when you go to the, one of the Talking Pictures um, Festival of, of Film, you're, um, as Brian Murphy once said that we saw at one of the shows, you were amongst friends. So that was lovely. Um, you got to meet Ray Brooks, didn't you? I did, and he was lovely. Yes, we had the we had the fortunate misfortune to meet Ray Brooks. No, he was lovely. He's and he's he's a true grumpy old man in the nicest, most affectionate sense of the word. Yeah. So that was great. We bought you bought one book, didn't you? I did. Which was Ray Brooks learning, learning my, my lines. Which I'm thoroughly enjoying. Thoroughly enjoying, and you tweeted, didn't you? And we're getting lots of tweets back about that. So that's nice. So if you want any voiceover work, contact Ray Brooks. Um, I bought one DVD, didn't we? And Bob I bought Scrooge. Terry Dean's CD. Oh, you bought a Terry Dean's CD, yep. which is one that he recorded just for that show, wasn't it? Did, did he? Yeah, and he did an extra number, didn't he? He, he did. Got a new gospel song. On, new gospel he? song, and he sang on stage for us as an, as an extra um, white, was it, white sport coat and a pink carnation, didn't they? Yeah, he, he had an amazing voice. He did, as an acoustic set. Lola was there. And he... The gorgeous Lola. And as he enjoyed always. performing, didn't he, Terry? He did. You could actually tell he he enjoyed being on stage and singing. Yeah. And he still had whatever he had in the 50s when he wasn't even born. Yeah. And the team from Talking Pictures were wonderful. Thank you, Sarah. Thank Hello. you, Sarah and Archie. Hello. And, and everybody. And everybody. It was fantastic. It's been a long weekend. 